Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Spiritual Hollywood Hour. I am Kate Romero, your host. Peter Beamish got very interested in Abraham and went and did a documentary about them called Introducing Abraham, The Secret Behind the Secret, which is a fantastic DVD set. I watch it over and over, and I always hear something new each time I listen to it. Okay, I have to tell you that when I saw Introducing Abraham, it just knocked me off my feet. And I just had to show it to everybody that I knew. And I wonder what was it that drew you to Abraham after Neo and I'll show. I heard about the phenomenon of channeling, and as soon as I did, the name Jerry and Esther Hicks came up. It rang a bell for me. It mm -hmm. just, it stuck with me, and for months after that, whenever I would meet someone, if I met you at a party or something, I would probably say to you at some point, have you ever heard of Abraham? Finally, somebody said to me, yes, I get these weekly CDs, would you like to borrow one? Jerry and Esther do workshops almost every weekend, all year round. They travel mm -hmm. the United States. They're actually, right now, they're in Australia, finishing up a successful tour over there. So I got one of these CDs, and as I say, I put it in, and I decided I'll go for a walk in the woods and just see what this was all about. And it wasn't three minutes into it before I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. I just couldn't believe the the humor first of all mm -hmm. that caught me off guard yeah and it just hit me and so i checked their website saw that they were going to be in syracuse new york i mm -hmm. live in ottawa canada and syracuse is only about a three-hour drive mm -hmm. and do you want me to continue with that yes Dale? please listen i chased you down for i don't know how many months to get you on my show <laughs> after seeing what you did with introduction to abraham Whatever led you to do it, it was completely divine intervention. I mean, this is a marvelous story, and I want our listeners to hear what's possible when you trust yourself. So, you're, yeah, you're right. You know, you. I definitely felt, to use Abraham's vernacular, I definitely felt tuned in, tapped in, and turned on yep. when I videotaped it and when I edited it. We went down to San Antonio, and they were just finishing building a conference center, a beautiful wood structure, big floor-to-ceiling windows, and room for an audience of about 40 people. Mm -hmm. When I was getting ready to do the video, mm -hmm. I knew that I wanted to speak to Jerry and Esther first, and then Abraham. Would you welcome Esther and her friends, please? At many of these workshops, when Esther gets up, she quite often says her, as herself only two words. She walks up to the microphone and she says, hello, goodbye. Goodbye. So when I talked to them about interviewing them, Esther in particular said, she, she said, I always feel like the comedian that comes out on stage before the Rolling Stones, you know, I, I, maybe I'm funny or whatever, but here's all this equipment behind me, and we all know what everybody's there for. Right. That's awfully nice. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> but I convinced them that it was important for people to meet them first, and I mean, you've seen the DVD so many times, I'm sure you'd agree that there's something really key about meeting Jerry and Esther and getting to know them before you meet Abraham, first of all, you see the difference, but also you just get, I mean, there's, there's obviously amazing wisdom from Abraham, but you know, there's a lot to be learned just from listening to Jerry and Esther, listening to how they met, how they got their lives to where they were. I mean, they are the living examples of the art of allowing. And I'm quite clear, Peter, that you were chosen chosen well, to do this. Yeah, it certainly all worked out just wonderfully. I mean, you know, I could go on and on about how many things clicked. They're not about the messenger. They're about the message. The messenger just happens to be and wise beyond the wildest imaginings, funny, pithy, excellent timing, jaw-dropping, profound, and incredibly unique. And to be introduced to Abraham in such a way that you've done it with introducing Abraham, the secret behind the secret, suddenly just blows the fog away. Well, you know, it was very <laughs> important to me that the word introducing was part of that. In the same way with Neil Donald Walsh, I wanted it to be something that someone could hand to someone else and say, here, just have a look at this with no explanation. Yeah. And I was very intent on asking questions. In fact, it took me quite a while to come up with my first question for Abraham. I went up to, uh, my brother has a very secluded cottage in Quebec, in Canada, and I go up there when it's time to write my questions. I, I went out for a walk and I was trying to think of, well, if when I do this, Abraham shows up and says hello, what's the first thing 
that someone that Joe Q public would want to know. And then、uh-huh. it hit me one day, and that was how how can we believe this? How can we believe that that one person can close their eyes and and concentrate, and suddenly there's there's someone else there? Help me with that. I wasn't saying it in a belligerent way. I was sort of more help、oh. me with this, and、yeah. then the line of questioning just went from there. I asked them why the name Abraham. We went through all the basics and all the other questions, as you know. And it's a nice, complete introduction. In fact, Louise Hay called me after I had sent it to her, and she called me and said, "I got your DVD, and it just so happened that when I went to watch it, I had a friend over who did not know Abraham." And so I was also watching it through his eyes, and she said, "All I kept saying to myself as I watched this is, 'What a wonderful way to be introduced to Abraham.'" And I also want to tell you about showing that DVD for the first time in a, to, in a theater with 300 people. Yeah. Yeah. So all these people showed up, and the invitation that I sent gave no. Indication at all as to what exactly they were going to see. Well, I, I'm I'm really hoping to have an interesting experience. I've I've brought clean underwear in case I do have an interesting experience. And then after the first break, they've met Jerry and Esther, and you know some people were going, well, I don't know, I have to see. Well, it's sort of like I'm in this like okay, I don't really believe this is all an act, and I just want to see. Mm-hmm. And then after the second and third one, the reactions from people were was just astounding. It was just、right. wonderful. That gave me butterflies. Actually, I was like tingling the whole time. It's like a crazy sensation. It was really intense. I just can't stop watching. I just want to watch more. Could be life changing. Seriously, very powerful. It's crazy. Blew my mind. I didn't know what to think. Yes. And people were crying. One woman was just. She goes. Oh yeah. This just moved to tears, and she's like, whoa! She couldn't stop. Yeah, and I understand that feeling. Well,、and、I couldn't do that when I was doing the interview. I had to hold. Well, no,、together. but you were fighting it. I could see, <laughs> and you kept it together really beautifully. And if I was ever going to be interviewed, I would want it to be the way you do it. I'm asking people to explain themselves, not defend themselves. Absolutely, you're bringing out their greatness. You're honoring them. You're giving them a chance to unfold and blossom right before the eyes of the public. Right. That's a beautiful way to do it. Right. And of course, now I'm so lucky. The first thing Jerry said to me was, he literally has recorded almost every single word Abraham has ever uttered in the twenty-some odd years. So he、it. had from the late '80s. He had these audio cassette recordings, so it wasn't digital. So Jerry said, we want to release these with Hay House, but we need them cleaned up. So we spent months doing these little technical things to get the sound as good as possible. Mm-hmm. And then we scored it with some music just to kind of also cover the bumps. And that's actually well, it has been released by Hay House as a series of CDs, and it's now coming out as books. The most recent one is Money and the Law of Attraction, which、yes. was New York Times bestseller number one. Yes. And from there, Jerry said to me, "I'm thinking with all of these workshops that I'd like to start releasing sort of the highlight ones on DVD." And that became the Law of Attraction in action. One of the things, I mean, I love getting the workshops on audio, and they're so convenient. You can put them in your car, and you can put them in the iPod, and、yep. it's really great. But I'll tell you, these workshops on DVD, you get the added punch of watching people get it. Yeah, their reaction. You know, there's some people that come on there, and they're they're just very upset or very resistant, and you can just see the tension leave their face. It's just a wonderful thing to watch, and so. Every workshop gets recorded, so there are there is so much Abraham material that if they stop tomorrow, there'd still be so much to get through. And yet here they are every week, just doing workshop after workshop. Generating, yeah. I just really am excited for whatever it is that you touch, that you are led to investigate, explore, and to follow your heart.